Jonathan and his father Winston are keeping busy lobster fishing. Since March, their dolphin spotting business, much like their passenger boats, has run aground. And the possibility of a socially distanced future on board seems unlikely. People can't stay that far apart from one another on, on a boat and they're there for an hour or two hours, however long the trip is. So that obviously increases your risk, the time of exposure, doesn't it? Newquay, like so many Welsh towns, depends on tourists. Their absence is obvious wherever you look. Locals here know they need trade, but they're weary too of the risks it might bring. Nobody wants to lose a member of their family, but they don't want to lose their business. And some of the locals do get a little bit jittery because the infection rate is virtually zero here. So. Any single person that comes presents a, a risk. It's an understandable risk, but we can't stay like this forever. Just up the road in Aberiron, the Thomas family are acutely aware of that. They run a caravan park and farm shop, but they believe keeping your distance shouldn't be too hard for sites like theirs. The legal limit is six metres, and here we're almost double that. I think the most important thing is to make sure that all our staff and our family are safe and indeed anyone comes here has a good experience and that they are indeed safe. But business isn't safe. The family say they're £300,000 down compared with this time last year. They're positive they can bounce back but say it's been a catastrophic start to the season. We have hundreds and hundreds of emails and we have spent such a lot of time advertising it, promoting it and what can you tell them? You know, it's heartbreaking. It's a situation no doubt faced by all within the industry. At this pub and B&B in Pembrokeshire, they're providing takeaways to their locals. But it's a far cry from their usual summer trade. Keeping a safe distance within their restaurant, they say, isn't ideal, but it's doable. But if Wales doesn't move quickly, there'll be bigger problems. People have cancelled and people have told us that they have rebooked in England because they are convinced that the accommodation sector will open up there before it will in Wales. Pembroke is very resilient and so is this industry. And we can adapt to anything, um, but we just need to know what's happening. We need to know some times, we need to know some, some dates to be able to put that planning into effect. The sun is still shining, the dolphins are still on show. For weeks, tourists have been told to visit us later. But if that advice doesn't change soon, will our loyal visitors start falling out of love with Wales? Jess Main, ITV News.